Okay, it's Brad Manny. Um, yeah, just recently, um, one of my videos has um, got a heap of views, and I keep getting comments on it. And um, yeah, so I'm just gonna address some of them. The main comment is, "What's that red dot?" So in the moth, it's the moth video, the biggest moth I've ever seen video, and. Um, yeah, so in that video, I'm outside here. So I'm in the kitchen now, and I'm outside, and I find a moth, and I try and get it off my hand, but because I'm holding a camera, I have to, yeah, try and, you know, lever it off. But, um, yeah, at one point, as I'm trying to get the moth off, a little red dot appears, and everyone thinks it's blood. And, um, yeah, moths don't have red blood. And um, I keep responding to people what it is, but yeah, I thought I'd do a video and show you. So this is ox heart. I don't know if you can see that clearly. There's a blackout at the moment because we had a big storm, so we've got no power. But um, yeah, this is ox heart. So if you get a little bit of ox heart like this, a tiny little bit, when it, um, when it gets thrown out on the wood here, because I feed birds out here, as you can see, they're all waiting. But um, yeah, if, if they don't eat it, if it's too little, it, it gets real sticky and it sticks to the wood. So like, you can imagine that when it's dried out a bit, that's exactly what that little drop of blood is that everyone thinks the moth's bleeding and I've heard it. <laughs> but yeah, so that's what it is. A little bit of ox heart that's been left over by these fellas. These are called kookaburras. Um, <clears throat> the other thing I keep asking, on the back of the moth, it's called a giant wood moth, which I actually, um, I um, put the wrong name of it. I misidentified it and um, I called it a privet hawk moth, but it's actually a giant wood moth, which is the world's heaviest moth but it's got tiny little wings, otherwise it'd be the world's biggest moth. But um, yeah, so before these guys get too rowdy, so these are kookaburras. So this is what I feed the meat. And before anyone says, oh, I don't feed it meat or whatever. Um, I, I used to do wildlife rehabilitation, like wildlife rescue, and I took care of a lot of these animals. So I only feed, if you can see out here, there'll be about 20 birds. So this is a minuscule amount of feed to them. So they all feed naturally. So yeah, get that out of the way. But yeah, these are kookaburras, laughing kookaburras. Um, that one who just flew off there is a, a magpie. And oh, that one over there is a currawong. That's a currawong. Um, and oh, they're shy when I, cause I don't usually have a camera. So anything I do slightly different. I've got a lot of magpies here at the moment cause the local rescue place releases them near my house cause they know I live here and take care of everything. But yeah, I feed seed birds as well. There's some Pacific black ducks, um, little corellas. And yeah, we get like 32 species of bird here or something. It's a pretty quiet day today, probably because I've got the camera. Um, yes, yeah, so, oh, there he is. See that little one there? That's called a pie butcher bird. Pied butcher bird or something. But yeah, they're called butcher birds because they go and store meat in little crevices in the trees and stuff. So yeah, I'll feed these guys. Otherwise, I'll start being naughty. So yeah, I throw them out and. Yeah, you can see how many meat birds there are. This one's a magpie. This naughty one's a kookaburra. They're pretty tame. Everyone in Australia knows kookaburras because they steal food off your plate when you're having a barbecue outside. But yeah, I can't remember what other things I was going to say because I'm too distracted by feeding the bird buddies. Oh, and a couple of crows will come down as well, too. 
Big black crow. <laughs> but yeah. You know, just fed these last. This one's real old. He's pretty a bit too tame. I don't usually get him to be tame. But yeah, um Yeah, so that's the update on the moth video. Yeah, it's getting heaps of views, so I've gotten a lot of new subscribers out of it, which is cool. So I better start making some content. Um, I'll add some videos at the end, you know how they pop up annoyingly at the end of videos. So, um, and some other interesting things like a big mega worm and um, a little girl touching a spider and, and what else, yeah. I'll go look for me old videos. So if you want to watch some animal videos, kangaroos and stuff, um, go, go back to me old stuff. There's a bit of naughty motorbike stuff, but, um, yeah, they're just for a couple of mates of mine to watch, but, um, most of me videos are all animal. Like when I was at the rehabilitation center, like kangaroos, possums, sugar gliders. So yeah, thank you, thank you. Blabbing too much. See ya.